Technology plays a major role in the developing agricultural sector. This according to agricultural journalist and the creator of Tech for Agri, Karen Bascom. He says technology has been the go-to for many small agribusiness owners as it helps them to improve their yields and earn an honest livelihood. Where I clearly see technology assisting our sector locally is to really give the smaller man uh, an edge to have a more efficient or a more powerful business. Um, you have things like controlled environment agriculture and all these different hydroponic and vertical farming systems that are available that people are actively using and creating their own training courses to spread that knowledge. He says typically a good farm should incorporate a variety of technologies to ensure safer and healthier produce that are of high value. Some of the common ones used are protected agriculture and controlled environment agricultural systems. So those are more indoor systems where you have a variety of different sensors. It's usually in going to incorporate vertical farming, which is where you are using all the available space within that indoor space to grow the crops, as opposed to growing the crops on the ground only. And with a control system, you know, you're looking at the temperature, the humidity, and your irrigation system, which is how you water your, your entire setup. Um, all of these factors would be automated. However, there are simpler methods and techniques. So for example, entities like Wasamaki Permaculture Center have been doing training for years on different permaculture practices, which looks at the waste of one crop being utilized to benefit the production of another in a natural process. So you have your short-term crops amongst your long-term crops, right? And when the short-term crops deteriorate, you sell them off for your cash, your short-term cash, and then you have your long-term crops then to bring in another form of revenue. It is no secret that some households in Trinidad and Tobago do not have access to the right nutrition. However, thanks to technologies such as dehydrators, Freshly made nutritious products such as pigeon pea flour can be manufactured and sold to residents. One business owner has embarked on this initiative. So, for example, I've recently engaged with Miss Florence Joseph, who runs Flojo. They produce a variety of pigeon pea products. Now, they are looking at the production from all the different parts in that vertical line. So, you have the farmer, you have from the farm, you have to go and harvest everything, harvest it, process it into the various products, package it, and then get it off to the customer. Flojo is doing several of those steps. Essentially, technology and agriculture go hand in hand. Food is something that we need to survive, and the use of technology is what is going to help us meet that demand. This is TTT News with your weekly Tech Factor.